Hey, this is Ryan with MOS Equipment. Today I'm going to be talking about our Blockbox Lab XL. This is an awesome new Blockbox Lab Faraday enclosure that we have that's 2.5 times larger than our original Blockbox with a bunch of awesome upgrades that we're going to go over right now. First, I'm going to talk about the kit that's included. You're going to find a number of items that are included in our accessories box. So the first thing that you'll have is a power cord to plug the unit in. Next is an RJ45 cable. Next are two USB A to A cables, as well as two styluses for using inside of the Blockbox Lab. And then we have an extra set of shielded gloves. These are great for if the gloves in the lab at any point wear out, which inevitably does happen over time with wear and tear. Um, these will help be a replacement inside of there to add longevity to the product. And then we have extra seals, gaskets. This is an extra set. These get installed inside of the rim of the lid, as well as the rim of the base. And this is what's compressed that maintains the RF shielding inside of the enclosure. And those also can compress over time. And it's something that can become damaged. We include an extra set here for you, just to make sure that you gain as much life as possible out of the lab. We also include three Faraday bags. First, we have our Mission Darkness laptop size non-window Faraday bag. Then we include a Neolock tablet size Faraday bag. This is a magnetic closure. This is great for opening and closing inside of the lab using the gloves. It just helps ensure that the gloves uh, maintain a longer life by not uh, using Velcro. There's less abrasion with the magnetic closure. And then we have a phone size. So those three bags are included alongside the Blockbox Lab XL. And now we're gonna get into the product. So now we need to connect our power cord here. This is going to supply power to the uh, power strip on the inside of the lab and supply power to the lights as well. Now, if you were to use any type of devices on the inside of the Lab XL, such as a forensic extraction tool or a computer, you can use the supplied A to A cables. A USB-A can connect on the outside and then the other end of it can connect to a computer or another tool, while the same can be done on the inside. So first thing you'll notice about the Blockbox Lab XL is it's just sheer size. Uh, this forensic enclosure is designed for manipulating devices on the inside of the enclosure while the lid is closed, and you can work on laptops, you can work on uh, tablets, many cell phones. The size is just large, which is really, really nice, and it's cost effective for this size of solution. We've got the shielded gloves, which are much longer than your average forensic enclosure gloves because you want to reach the back side here, and these are double layer. So these are really high shielding, double layer, uh, really nice shielded gloves, and then you'll see a power strip on the inside. So we have four universal power plugs, as well as four USB plugs. These are for plugging in forensics tools, computers, uh, cell phones, you can plug them directly um, into the USB if you want. And then what we'll notice is a power button for two LEDs here. If you close the lid, we can see all the way through. And what you'll notice is that we have a new and improved Generation 2 much clearer shielded window. This window is awesome for viewing device screens, whether that's laptops, tablets, cell phones. It's fantastic for viewing those all the way down to the bottom of the device. This window took us a lot of time to develop and it's great for the Lab XL. Next are two filtered USB ports on the inside of the lab. These correspond to the outside for connecting to a computer or any other device and receiving pass through from outside to the inside of the enclosure. The next thing you'll notice is a shielded RJ45 port on the inside that's passed through to the outside. This is great for connecting devices on the inside that need to connect to the internet, such as Gray Key, Celebrite Premium, a computer, or any other device that needs an ethernet connection. To use the Lab XL, the first thing you want to do is have any devices that you want to put inside that are going to maintain shielding. Make sure you have your connections available on the inside. You can connect them afterwards when you close the box, but you're going to want them to be on the inside, and any other forensic tools or objects. So just to show the size of the Lab XL, this is a typical laptop. I think it's a 16 inch here. There's tons of room to actually operate it to lift up the screen, and we'll show that after we get it in. So we'll place that in, and then we'll demonstrate the clarity of the window with a cell phone. 
if you want to use the stylus that came with the kit, which are really nice, place that on the inside, close the lid, and latch it. You want to make sure that both latches are down, place your hands on the inside, and you can get to work. If you check out the clarity of the phone that's inside of here, it's clear both up to the window and then all the way down at the bottom of the enclosure. And this is really important because if you're working on devices inside of the Lab XL, you're gonna want them to be visible all the way down to the bottom. It just makes things a lot easier. Now I'll open the laptop that I brought into the Lab XL and you'll notice that there's plenty of room for it to be opened and extended and for me to actually type on the keys on the keyboard. This is really nice for examining laptops and making sure that they don't connect to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or any other antennas that might be involved in the laptop. I'll just close the lid of that. And inside of the Lab XL, we can conduct full investigations or we can do other operations that are required to have block signals on hardware devices in this type of environment. So we'll open up the lid. Here are our devices. And that's it. So this is the Mission Darkness Blockbox Lab XL. This product is amazing for forensics investigators looking to conduct investigations, for developers of IoT hardware products, software developers, anybody looking to shield a device inside of an enclosure, have connections to the outside or power, and do investigations or testing. The product comes with a range of accessories, including Faraday bags, as well as other accessories such as gaskets and gloves to make sure that the product lasts as long as possible with our end users. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, and thanks for watching.